here is a case of supine psnl how to assess whether the puncture is going to be correct in routine cases and mal rotated kidney usually in supine psnl below the posterior axillary line we will start the puncture keeping in line of the calyx when you go close to the kidney kidney moves and calyx also moves because in supine psnl anteriorly kidney is free similarly when the calyx is closely approached the calyxial dipping as well as kidney too much movement towards the spine makes you very clear that uh, you are entering in a proper correct uh, part of the calyx we are sharing in this video where mal rotated kidney i tried posteriorly to puncture the kidney kidney was moving calyx was moving but the deformity as well as the kidney movement towards the spine was not there that's why i want to share the video young male uh, meaty kidney how to assess perfect puncture that means end of the calyx when you are reaching otherwise also many times kidney moves and calyx moves this is the mal rotated kidney this is the posterior axillary line rib position i started initially posterior to the rib two three times see this is the posterior to rib i am trying kidney also moving here but calyxial deformity is not happening so i am not able to get the water you can see the thick contrast uh, which is uh, present in supine psnl means uh, it is posterior calyx and all the other calyxes are slightly mal rotated and uh, here also kidney is moving the cupping is not happening that much i tried go inside uh, but that did not work out it was difficult case many times i tried puncture but now you see now this puncture here after readjusting 10 millimeters anterior see the cupping see the kidney movement to the opposite side this is a very important sign and i am withdrawing but better not to cross the infundibular line after withdrawal because the cupping was very very obvious and the kidney moves up towards the spine middle of the spine these two movements makes a puncture very uh, see you can see the small marks where posteriorly i have punctured now i came close to the tip of the 12th rib that puncture clearly made the guide wire to go into the pieces you can see the guide wire coiling into the upper calyx uh, like this then uh, this was a pelvic stone the rest of the stone lithotripsy was uneventful so movement of the kidney movement of the calyx uh, the movement of the kidney towards the spine more and uh, with the calyxial deformity very clearly deformity and the colonic uh, movements all these can be observed uh, while doing supine psnl very uh, easily than in prone psnl i feel thank you